This is Hydrogen Tap 1, Series 3L. The L stands for lab. It's 12 o'clock midnight on Wednesday. What you're looking at is a hydrogen producing unit with stainless steel plates. The plates are three inches by five and a half. You're looking there at the water sensor output. Those are the electrodes that go to it. In a minute, I'll show you how they disconnect. And that is the expansion port, which allows you to connect to another hydrogen 3L unit. The 3L is made for someone who's interested in getting involved with hydrogen. This produces hydrogen and oxygen. What you're looking at there is the water input port. In the T half inch port to the top of the screen is the hydrogen output port. There's two of them there, as you can see. It's a T. It's a half inch port, which allows plenty of room for the hydrogen to come out. Those are the two fuse holders. One is for the hydrogen unit and one's for the water sensors. This whole unit is designed for upgrade. The reason for the half inch plastic on top and bottom is for that purpose. It's very easy to drill and you can make your modifications to it. The whole unit has been made for that purpose. If you're interested in getting involved with a hydrogen system, this is the way to go. This is not a toy. This is not a unit that is designed to go directly into your car. It's a unit designed for someone who wants to combine what one person's done with their own work. There you can see the bottom. If you're tired of hunting around for parts and product information, this is the unit to get. I've done all the shopping for you and I've done all the work. The main design is a good sturdy design. You can take it from here and go further. This unit has 15 plates in it which are being used positive, negative, alternately. But can be expanded to 30 plates. You can hook this unit to another 3L series through the port on the bottom and change it from a hydrogen oxygen unit to one unit creating the hydrogen, one unit creating the oxygen. This is another view of the electro connection to the water fill ports. As you can see, one has been unplugged. Those are standard RCA jacks, which you can get at any store. So rather than splicing wire to the unit, you can just buy a very long RCA cable and plug it in. That's your expansion port there to connect two or, two or more units together, or you can use it to flush the unit. There's a view of the plates on the inside. The top is connected by two disconnect plugs. 
The plugs you see here are not gold plated. The plugs that are going with the units that are for sale are. The plugs that you see here are not coded. The plugs that are for sale are. They're coded. The reason I haven't coded anything here is to show you how easily it comes apart. There you can see the size. It's about 12 inches tall. If you took the system itself, it would be excellent to put in your lab to do tests. This unit is being sold as a lab test unit. You can do whatever you want to with it. The unit itself will run up to 30 amps on 12 volt battery using the plates that are in there without electrolytes. It takes a few minutes to get up to 30 amps as the water heats up. If you put electrolytes in the water, you will be in trouble because you will produce much, much more than 30 amps. All the cables, everything here, are quick disconnects. 